This type of light cruiser is our greatest concern. It is fast, and Great Britain has many of them with which to continue the blockade against us. That is why you were summoned here, to witness the demonstration of a new weapon. Are you ready, Doctor? Quite ready, Admiral. Proceed with the experiment. I have here a model of our marine mine. This mine has been treated with a pitch blend concentrate known as Compound X. To this Compound X, I have added one milligram of copper sulfate. You will observe the effect. A magnetic mine. Gentlemen, this weapon is greater than the submarine itself. Explain, Doctor. Gladly, Your Excellency. Compound X is the discovery of a Canadian scientist named Merritt. It's extremely valuable as a cure for infantile paralysis. By adding copper sulfate, the compound becomes highly magnetic, as you have seen. Then a mine or torpedo containing the compound aims itself at any steel-hulled vessel in that area. Precisely so, Admiral. Do we have the formula? No, sir, but it would be useless. Unfortunately, our country controls no pitch blend deposits. How much compound X is available to us? Uh, not much. The larger hospitals and uh, public clinics have a small supply, but... Uh, Commandeer it. All of it. But, Admiral... Doctor, we are at war. Yes, Admiral. Gentlemen, Your Excellency. With these magnetic mines, we will blast the English fleet from the North Sea. serious, Kettler. Yes, Your Excellency. We have weakened the blockade with our magnetic mines, but our supply of compound X will be exhausted in a few weeks. We must have more. I thought Garson had made contact with the people who mined this compound X. He has, but we can't get it out of Canada. That's why I am sending you in charge. You're leaving by submarine tonight. Your mission is a perilous one, and the fate of our great cause is in your hands. Kettler. You must not fail. Canadian destroyer. She's coming fast. Down periscope. Submerged to 100 feet. Aye, aye, sir. Reduce to quarter speed. They'll drop depth charges, but we are comparatively safe at 100 feet. safe now. We'll cruise at this depth until nightfall and then make for Mackenzie Inlet. More information on that enemy submarine, Sergeant. Send it out at once. Yes, sir. Attention all field force commanders in the Atlantic Coast Zone. Attention all Atlantic patrol units of the Canadian Navy and Coast Guard. Attention all Atlantic shore patrols of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. General broadcast number 2-2. Enemy submarine first sighted approaching the mouth of the St. Lawrence is believed to be headed southwest. It is known to be carrying an enemy espionage agent who will probably try to put him ashore in the neighborhood of Mackenzie Inlet. Okay. 
Mackenzie Inlet now. How soon will we meet Garson? I'll check our position. Are you sure this is the right location, Brunt? Positive of it, Mr. Garson. Pray the starboard too. Aye, aye, sir. Something breaking water up ahead. That's him. Pull up. We've got to get out of here fast. Canadian military intelligence has a general broadcast out for you. Police calling GHQ. Corporal Hastings calling GHQ. GHQ, go ahead, Corporal. Six men in a speedboat fired on my patrol at Pine Point and got away. Boat is headed north. Attention, Sergeant King, Beaver Cove Patrol. Attention, Sergeant King, Beaver Cove Patrol. A speedboat, number and type unknown, fired on Mackenzie Patrol at Pine Point. Boat is carrying six men. This boat is now headed north toward your station. Arrest occupants and hold for Canadian military authorities. Mackenzie Patrol? Well, that's Bob Hastings. Ten to one, that speedboat has contacted the submarine we've been looking for. Better to the right, Mills. Can't you do something for me, Wade? What can I do for you? I'll get you patched up when we get ashore. There it is. Pull alongside when I turn on this light. Shoot out that light! Run them down!
Sergeant King reporting, sir. I'm on special detail for the Commandant. I request a horse and outfit. For my orders, sir. Very good, Sergeant. Corporal Merritt will fix you up. Merritt. Yes, sir? See that Sergeant King has issued a horse and equipment. Have them prepared at once. Yes, sir. It's good to see you, son. It's good to see you, too, Dad. I wish they'd transfer me to your station. <laughs> Father and son on the same post might not work out too well. What brings you up here, my lad? Well, I have orders to get this man. He calls himself Wade Garson. An espionage agent, eh? Believed to have contacted an enemy submarine in Mackenzie Inlet. Known to have been one of the speedboat crew who fired upon mounted police at Pine Point and later bombed a patrol boat at Beaver Cove. Hmm. This is a very important assignment, son. That was my patrol boat. They bombed. And you trailed him to my district? Not exactly, but I have every good reason to believe he's up here. That gang in the speedboat left one of their men behind, wounded. And we learned from him that Garson has connections in the Valley of Hunted Men. The Valley of Hunted Men. Till now, we've let it pretty much alone. It's filled with bad characters, ex-convicts and the like. But as long as they've stayed in there, we haven't bothered them. But now I'm going to give you a detail and let you clean it out. Oh, but I... It isn't a one-man job, Sergeant. I'll send four men with you. Yes, sir. Your horse is ready, Sergeant. Thanks. Tell Carter, Doyle, Hallett, McLeod, they will accompany Sergeant King to the Valley of Hunted Men. Yes, sir. Now, let me tell you about the valley, son. Howdy, Inspector King. Well, hello, Sergeant Dave. Vinegar Smith. <laughs> you haven't grown a day older. I haven't grown a day older in 30 years. And ain't going to grow no older, neither. <laughs> but I didn't come up here to talk about mage. Well, Vinegar, what's your trouble? Ain't no trouble with me. It's old man Merrick. Where's young Tom? Well, he's busy right now, Vinegar. What's the matter with Merritt? Oh, ain't nothing the matter with him. It's that compound X of his. Somebody's been stealing it. He wants that you should look into it. Oh, I see. Well, I'll go up to the mine right away. Get your details, Sergeant, and come along. It's on the way to the valley. Yes, sir. Uh, Vinegar, come with me. How are you, Dave? Fine, Tom. Never better. How's the Merritt family? Swell. Why don't you stop at the mine and say hello to Dad and Linda? All right, I will. Good luck. I'm giving Garson 20 16-ounce bars of Compound X. I don't dare give him any more now. Merritt was grumbling about a shortage of the stuff only this morning. And don't do anything to arouse Merritt's suspicions and tell Garson to send out the Compound X through the usual channels. All right. Kettler says you're to ship the compound out through the usual channels. Well, man, it's been squawking, has he? Yes, plenty. Sooner or later, we're going to have to do something about him. Here's your money, Crandall. I still think we should have raised our last offer and bought Merritt out. We're going to need a lot of this compound X. But a bigger offer would have made Merritt suspicious. He thinks the stuff's only good for infantile paralysis. <laughs> we'll use it for paralysis, all right, but not the kind Merritt thinks. We'll use it to paralyze the British Navy. And it's your job to see we get lots of it. I'll do the best I... You'll never get another ounce of it. Why, Tom? I thought you were an honest man, Matt, when I let you buy an interest in the caribou. I thought you really wanted to help me fight infantile paralysis with a compound. But I know better now. I began to suspect you soon after the compound started to disappear. But now I know you're guilty. Now, just a minute, Tom. I admit that I've taken a few bars of Compound X, but I did it because I needed some extra money. I just heard enough to send you two to the firing squad. 
And if what I think is true, I'm going to see that you get there. Just what do you think, Tom? I think you've sold out to the enemy. <laughs> oh, don't be a fool. You can't laugh it off, Crandall. Among other things, I happen to know that you have a shortwave radio hidden in the storeroom. And I also happen to know what wavelength that radio is tuned to. That's entirely too much for you to know, Mr. Merritt. I'd better knock you out so they won't suspect you. When you come to, all you know is that you were slugged from behind. But wait, I don't... Shut up! Sooner, Inspector. There's Marty work here. What's wrong, Kelly? Tom Merritt's dead. Dead? Yes, sir. If you could only give us some description of the man, we might have something to work on. But I can't. I didn't even see him. I heard a shot and rushed in and saw Tom lying on the floor. As I ran to him, this man struck me from behind. The next I remember is coming to and finding you here. Well, what was you looking for? The payroll, probably. It's in the safe. Wonder why he didn't take it with him. By uh, scared off, I guess, by Kelly and the others. Inspector, I'm sure I saw the man. Well, what did he look like? I only had a fleeting glimpse of him as he rode by, but I did notice that he had a scar on his face. Do you look anything like this man? Dave, that is the man. I had a hunch it would be. I will leave immediately for the Valley of Hunted Men. No doubt, Sergeant. That's where your man's headed. It'll be dark before you get there. It'll be a break for us, sir. I'll do whatever I can, Linda. I know you will, Dave. Follow me. Get that radio fixed, Brand. What is the matter with it? Doing the best I can, Wade. The transformer burned out. Well, make it snappy. I've got to talk to Ketler. F-25 calling F-36. F-25 calling F-36. That's Crandall. F-25 calling F-36. F-25 calling F-36. F-36, go ahead, F-25. What's wrong up there? I've been trying to get you all afternoon. Burned out a transformer. Just got to fix. What's the setup down there? Apparently, I'm in the clear, but Sergeant King and four Mounties left here this afternoon, headed for the valley. It's a wonder they're not there now. No sign of them yet, but we'll take care of them when they get here. Call you later. Lake Atul, you come with me. that light out, then get out of sight. I want Wade Garson. Don't even know the man. All right, men, search the buildings.
Carson, you're under arrest.
sure this is the man? Yes. I could identify him anywhere. He's the man who rode away from the mine the day my father was killed. Thank you, Linda. Your positive identification added to his record of spy activities and sabotage, and now murder, is all we need. He'll hang for this. If you will pardon me. Identify Garson. These things have to be done. Well, son, I'm going to steal your applause. Headquarters has ordered me to Waterwalk concerning another matter, so I'm taking the prisoner with me. Well, when are you leaving? This afternoon. Oh, Matt, uh, keep Linda busy, will you? It'll take her mind off things. I will, Inspector. Goodbye, Linda. Goodbye, Matt. Goodbye. Goodbye, Inspector.
25 calling F1. F25 calling F1. F1 speaking, what is it? Sergeant King captured Garson. Where is he being held? They just left here for Tombstone Landing, but Inspector King is taking him to Ottawa this afternoon. Which way will they travel? By boat across the lake to the railroad. How much compound X have you on hand? Eight 20 ounce bars. Good. Now listen carefully. Take the compound X to Tombstone Landing. Inspector King, I was afraid I'd miss you. Well, five minutes more and you would have. What's the trouble, Matt? I just received a rush call for Compound X from the Children's Hospital of Ottawa. Will you take it with you? I'm very glad to be of service. You'll be in charge during my absence, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Good luck, son. Thanks, Dad. understand about this thing. How does he work? Well, you'll have a chance to see it work in a minute. Any motor in the radius is short-circuited and stops. Here comes the Monty's boat. Gonna make fish, eh? Oh, no, Inspector. Doyle, take a look. Yes, sir. Can't you get it started? I'll miss my Ottawa train. We're doing our best, sir. The coil's burned out. Oh. Having some trouble? Yes. Is there anything we can do? Could you run us over to North Bend? Be glad to. Thank you. Sergeant Dave, this is Vinegar Smith talking. Something's wrong. Well, what do you mean, Vinegar? Your dad and that prisoner fella got into a small boat together and it's heading for Fisherman's Cove. Well, meet me at the cove right away. Take over, Tom. Yes, sir. They had horses waiting here and took the inspector with them. They rode off that way. Let's go. You think they branched off? Well, I... Uh... Wait a minute. Here's one I learned from an old Paiute Indian. Mean as poison he was, but smart. Oh, roots of trees grow deep in ground. Trees have ears. That's what he said. And darned if he ain't right. Yep. We're still on the trail. Hey, 
That's the place. That lookout will spot us, sure. I've got an idea. You cut out a couple of saplings. I'll lay on bundle these furs. here, Trapper. Not much, Sardo. Just a place to spread my tarp and get my skins in out of the weather. There ain't no room around here, so move on. Yeah, just you say. It seems to me your temper's kind of short. Never mind about my temper. Get that crow bait out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them out of here. Kettler wants you to fly the compound X out to him. Is he going to have me picked up here? No, at Deep River in about a half an hour. I'd better get going. Then. So, Amounty always gets his man. With your positive identification, Linda, added to his record of spy activities and sabotage, this man will hang. <laughs> <laughs> Take him up in the hills away, isn't it? Uh, it will be a pleasure. Come, monsieur. Bien, si. Step back. How are you, Dad? Fine, son. Keep him covered. Get Carson. He's headed for Deep River. A plane will pick him up there. Hurry. Yes, sir. Come on, Vinegar, on timing.
Where are you going with this Compound X? I don't know what you're talking about. I said, where were you going with it? All I know is I was hired to pick up a man at Deep River Landing, and he was to tell me where to take him. Well, you may remember a little more when I get you back to Tombstone Landing. Get going. is obviously lying to protect someone. Yeah, perhaps you're right, son. We'll have his record checked. That may tell us something. Well, I hope so. Through him, we may even discover Wade Garson's whereabouts. Yes. If we only knew why these men are after Compound X, and for what purpose they're using it, other than for paralysis, we might get somewhere. Well, I have a hunch the compound is tied in with the espionage agent who escaped from me in Mackenzie Inlet. What makes you think so, Dave? Well, Garson tried to get away with Compound X. And it was Garson who helped smuggle the espionage agent into Canada. Well, maybe so. Let me know as soon as Blake's record gets in from Ottawa. Yes, sir. Did you get anything out of Blake? No. This gives me an idea. This is what I want you to do. Turn this prisoner over to the authorities at North Junction, together with this package of Compound X. Yes, sir. OK. and take it to the boss. Did it work? Perfectly. Come on, let's get out of here.
how did you get away from the Mounties? You sent help, didn't you? What are you talking about? The man that shot the Mountie, he's had to bring this Compound X to you. This isn't Compound X, it's too late. It's the same package that the Mountie took from Garson. This is a trap. This is a directional finder. The Mounties will trace you right to the mine. What are we gonna do? Listen, you keep on going until you come to the sawmill in Horseshoe Canyon. Now send some of the boys to meet you before the Mounties can get there. Line of flight leads definitely to Horseshoe Canyon. Say, that old mill would make a good hideout. Tom, you stay here. Watch the chart. If they leave Horseshoe Canyon before I get there, head them off. Right. sergeant going in such a hurry? We planted a direction finder on the prisoner, sir, and permitted him to escape. Who assumed that authority? Sergeant King, sir. The trail leads to Horseshoe Canyon. Horseshoe Canyon? Hmm. What's this turn right here at Caribou Mine? There was a brief stop at that point, sir, before the fugitive changed his course. Did Sergeant King know about this? No, sir. Well, that's rather peculiar. It might be well to look into it. Is there anything I can do, sir? No, Constable. I'll ride over to the mine myself. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Have you seen any strangers around the camp lately? Why, no. I spent most of my morning at Henley Lake. Nothing important, just checking up. Maybe Crandall will have some information for me. Glad to see you, dear. saw through the train. We planned a surprise for any Mountie that may be following him. Splendid. It's urgent that we obtain a fresh supply of Compound X from the mine. My country's beginning to feel the force of the blockade. No, don't worry. The Mountie won't have a chance. The men realize what it means if they're taken. Signing off. Why, hello, Inspector. How long have you been here? Just long enough to know that you're the man we're after. You're under arrest, Crandall, for the murder of Tom Merritt. Well, you're crazy, King. I didn't murder Merritt. We'll let a jury decide that. Uh, what are you going to do? First, you're going to take me to my son. Then you're going to Ottawa for trial. Move on. Crandall said Blake would be waiting for us. Yeah. 
Any sign of the Maldives? Not yet. We'll be ready for them when they get here. You two watch that road there. Come on. moving. Go on in the shack. Jack. Thank you. 
Dad. Detail, ready, load, aim, fire. Detail, ready, load, aim, fire. Effective this even date, Sergeant David King will assume the duties of acting commanding officer of the Royal Canadian Mounted Post to Tombstone Landing. Jeffrey Gatewood, Commissioner. Glad to hear it, Sergeant Dave. I mean, Commander King. Thanks, Vinegar. But the name's still Dave. Best man I ever knew sat in that chair. And any man that takes his place is gonna have to do more than just sit. You're right. If the Empire at war and so many enemies within its borders, I reckon be tougher than skin on a live coyote. But I know you won't let the Major down. Not as long as I'm wearing this uniform, I won't. Not as long as Garson's at large. Tom, Garson killed your father, and he was responsible for the death of mine. Together, you and I are going to get to the bottom of this Compound X business. Capture Garson and the men he's connected with. We'll get him, Dave. Sounds to me as if that chair is going to be filled right well. Take over, Tom. If you need me for anything, I'll be at the mine. Dave. Hello, Linda. I'm glad to hear of your appointment, Dave. Thank you, Matt. You have my very best wishes, Dave. That's very nice of you, Linda. Any uh, clue to the men in the canyon? None yet. But I want to check on your shipments of Compound X. I might find something there. I'll get the files for you. Thank you. Well, we've only been shipping to hospitals. You don't suspect any of them, do you? No, but the accounts might give me a lead. Here they are, Dave. Thanks. Toronto Sanitarium, 40 kilograms. That's their regular amount. Quebec Foundation, 25 kilograms. That's normal. Lakeshore Sanitarium, 100 kilograms. Isn't that rather a large amount? Yes, but they've just opened. Where are they located? Why, they leased the old lodge at the head of the lake. The old McFarland place. Well, that building wouldn't hold 20 patients comfortably. Who's the doctor in charge? Dr. Shelton. Dr. Shelton. I think I'll go up there and have a look around. Matt, if any unusually large orders come in, get in touch with me. I'll do that, Dave. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye, Linda. Goodbye, Dave. I hope nothing's wrong. I'm sure everything will be all right. Take care of it. F1 calling F35. F1 calling F35. F35 answering. Come in. Are the mines ready? In about an hour, the compound X just got here. Good. The submarine will be waiting for them in Moosehead Inlet, but you'll have to work fast. 
Sergeant King is on his way to the sanitarium to look things over. King, don't worry, I'll... Wait a minute. If any rough stuff is traced to the sanitarium, it would be of no further use to us, and we need it just as it is. Through it, we can get the compound X to make the mines our country needs for this war on Britain. Cover up when King gets there. I will. You fool, do you want to blast us out of here? One spark on this stuff and they'll pick up the pieces five miles away. Come on, men, we're ready to load up. You others take your places. If you don't get wise, all right. But if he tumbles to the setup, let him have it. Sergeant. Good morning. Dr. Sheldon? Oh, yes. Yeah. Anything I can do for you? It's just a routine matter, Doctor. I want to find out why you require such a large quantity of compound X. Oh, for medicinal purposes. <laughs> you know, we have quite a number of patients, Sergeant. Uh, we specialize in paralysis cases. That requires quite a lot of compound X. You mean all these men are invalids? Yes, Sergeant. <coughs> uh, poor fellows. Uh, most of them are pretty bad. Put this gun on. Bill, help me to this. Everything seems to be in order, Doctor. Thank you. Allow me. May I use your telephone, Doctor? I'm due to report in. Why, certainly. Mounted police post at Tombstone Landing. Troop K, Tombstone Landing. Hello. Sergeant King reporting from Lakeshore Sanitarium. I see. Well, that's a routine matter. You'll have to take care of it yourself. What are you talking about? Well, I'm sorry, I haven't got my training regs with me, but uh, if you look it up, I think you'll find that uh, TR 14, 3, 4, and 6 apply. TR 14, 3, 4, 6? Uh -huh. That'll do it. Well, you'll have to take care of it yourself, Tom. I'll see you later. TR 14346. Bad case? Our gravest concern at the moment. Join me, squad, double time. King's in trouble. Break out the men. Uh, when are you coming to see us again, Sergeant? We're apt to drop in any time, Doctor. Uh, by the way, aren't you from Tombstone Post? Yes. Uh, please feel at liberty to come again whenever you like. Explosion! Get out of here! Get out of here! Drop your guns. Get up! There's something wrong. Hurry it up! Open that door and get in there.
Darson got away. Carter, you and Dahl take the east shore and see if you can pick up his trail. Right. Yes, sir. I'm going to look around. Yes, sir. Come in here. McLeod, you and Hallett take the prisoners to the post. Yes, sir. Stand guard, Corporal. Yes, sir. Come on inside. Do you see that? Of course. A burn of some sort. You mean an explosion caused by this? I don't understand. Oh, yes, you do. This is a fuse cap attached to a cylinder. I haven't any information for you, Sergeant. I, I know nothing about these things. Shelton, I'd advise you to talk. It'll be a lot easier on you when I turn you over to the authorities in Ottawa. <laughs> Taking me to Ottawa, Sergeant King? <laughs> Ridiculous. How do I know you didn't plant those fuse caps here? You seem to know a lot about them. Yes, and I'll know a lot more about them when I have them analyzed. They'll be a lot safer at Tombstone Landing. And so will you. Corporal? Yes, Sergeant? Take Shelton to the post. I want to stop at the mine. Come along, you. You heard that, Garson? Yes. It puts us in a hole, doesn't it, Cutler? Yes. It's imperative that the naval authorities get a continuous supply of Compound X for the magnetic mines. The British haven't yet discovered that the secret of them is wrapped up in the compound, but if those fuse caps are analyzed, they will. Then we've got to stop those fuse caps from getting to Ottawa. Exactly. Have any trouble with Shelton? None at all, Dave. 
He's in with the others. Good. Here's the wavelength of a concealed radio I found at the sanitarium. A concealed radio? You must have run across a pretty big outfit. Much bigger than we thought, Tom. If we keep our radio tuned to their wavelength, we might be able to find out where their headquarters are. I'll put a man on it right away. You two go on down and get those fuse caps. Been expecting you, boys. Take their guns, Tom. I don't like that light going on. Gonna lock you two up with some friends of yours. We'll question them all in the morning, Corporal. Come on. Try and rob him on a police post. Well, they obviously don't want those fuse caps to get to Ottawa. You leave tomorrow for Beaver Junction. Catch the 8 o'clock freight. Pick up the passenger train at Great Falls. I'll take care of the prisoners. I'll make out a full detailed report, which you can take with you in the morning. Good night, Tom. Good night. and don't go for your gun. Get over there and unlock that safe. All right, open it. You know, when I open this door, a gong will ring. It'll bring every Mountie on the post down here. Thanks for warning us, Mountie. We'll take care of that bell. Okay, the emergency shipment? Why, no, he didn't. He won't release any compound X until he receives Tom's report from Ottawa. Well, what's Tom doing in Ottawa? He's taking the fuse caps they found at the sanitarium to have them analyzed. Has he left yet? Why, yes, he has, this morning. He'll pick up the night freight at Beaver Junction. I see.
F-25 calling F-1. F-25 calling F-1. F-25 calling F-1. Hall Sergeant King. This is F-1. What is it? The Mounties are sending the fuse caps to Ottawa on the night freight out of Bieber Junction. Who's carrying them? Corporal Tom Merritt. I'll take care of it. We'll wreck that train before it gets to Ottawa. See if the trains pass through Beaver Junction. Night freight left here five minutes ago. Corporal Merritt on board. Well, there's one chance left. Maybe I can catch it in Linda's plane. Can I use your plane? Oh, yes, of course, sir. I'll explain later. There it is. Land near the Moosehead Tunnel. Just follow that train.
Come on, let's get to Fuse Camp. See what you can do for me. I'll send Linda for help. All right, Dave. King hadn't shown up, we'd have got the fuse caps. They must be recovered at all costs. If they're analyzed, the British will learn that compound X is the secret of magnetic mines. We'll do anything you say to get them. You're holding the Merritt girl in the hideout? Right. Can you get to Crandall without running into Mounties? What's the matter with the radio? It isn't safe. The Mounties have spotted our cycle and are checking on us. We're using a high-frequency transcription now, but Crandall hasn't had a chance to install his. I think I can get into the mine without much trouble. Good. We'll give Crandall a note to take the tombstone landing. Crandall, tell King to bring the fuse caps to Salt Lake Spring at three this afternoon. If he don't, you will never see the Merritt girl again. You've got to do what they ask, Dave. Well, you've known Linda all your life. Your father and her father were friends. Yes, and they're both dead now because of the same people who wrote this note. Then you can't doubt that they'll kill Linda, too. Those caps are mere pieces of metal. Surely a small exchange for her life. But those fuse caps may be a clue of vital importance to the Empire. That hasn't been proven. No, but then how can you hesitate? It's your duty to protect lives, not to gamble with them. Yes, and it's also my duty to protect my country. Remember this, Dave. If anything happens to Linda, 
You're to blame. Are you going to let her die? No, I'm not. What is it, Vinegar? Lend this bracelet. Dropped from a plane. You saw this drop from a plane? Well, not exactly. It was attached to a flare that started a small brush fire. You suppose you could find the spot on the map? Sure thing. Come on. Hello, Vinegar. Hello, Tom. Have the lookout stations reported any brush fires recently? No, sir. Check on it right away. Yes, sir. Now, let's see. There is Rock Point, and there is the bridge, and here's where I was camped. Now, that flare must have dropped right about there. Hold that. There? That's right. Well, if my hunch is right, and Linda dropped a number of those flares, you might get a line on which way she was heading. Hey, Luck? Yes, sir. Two flares dropped by a plane resembling my sister's. One at coordinate 427-749. Wait a minute. The other, 427-759. Those flares were dropped in a straight line. That plane was heading straight for the Valley of Hunted Men. Do you think that's where Linda's being held? Yes, I do. But there's a chance of saving her without giving up those fuse caps by my surprising them at that hideout. Suppose they show up at Salt Lake Springs and nobody's there to meet them. Well, I was figuring on sending you there, Tom, with the fuse caps, in case I failed. Or you might be walking into a trap. I didn't expect a tea party when I joined the Mounties. Good luck, Tom. Speaking of traps, you better keep your eye open for that bear trap I set on the trail. It's a man killer. Thanks, Vinegar. I'll be on the lookout for it. to get started for these springs. And don't come back without these fuse cap. What about the dame? Boss ain't gonna turn her loose, is he? She could put the finger on all of us. Don't worry, my Shirley boss is no fool. The girl she will be taken care of.
They're going to ambush him out here at Salt Lake Springs. I sent Tom to the Springs. We still got time to save him. Come on. Reset that trap. I never did like the idea of shooting a Mountie. Where you are, Mountie. I brought the fuse caps and returned for Linda Merritt. Where is she? Just hand over them caps. We'll talk about the girl later.
Are you all right? Yes, Dave. What happened to the fuse caps? They got away with them. Which means we've still got a job on our hands. Right. We're going to find out why the force is plotting against the Empire, so active in this territory. Why they want Compound X from the Caribou Mine. Looks like Garson's the key to this riddle. Dave, those men that held me prisoner, they spoke as if they were expecting Garson at any minute. Tom, you take Linda to the mine. I've got to get back there right away. been going on here? Our king! He took us by surprise and he got away with the girl. It's a certainty they'll head for Salt Lake Springs to warn the Mounties. Take the boys and go after them. Come on, men! What's the rush? Oh, King got away with the girl, and they've gone after them. Should be hearing from Kettler any moment now. Something important? Orders from Kettler are always important. What's the idea of recording the message? The Mounties know our wavelength, and they're probably listening in. But Kettler's worked out a scheme that'll fool them. It's King! Message now. Yeah, I'm afraid we are all of that door, but now we will have to see in the middle of the stars and get in the snow. They have near the door. They have near the air and ask me to net by him, but we will have to scare all of whom he will hear us as soon as they are to pick us evil. All I can hear is a lot of double talk. That's all the man is here. But it's on the record now, and play to the right speed, it'll make sense. Because of mounted police activity, it is necessary to remove all our explosives from the abandoned cannery at Green Bay. Go to Green Bay at once and take charge of loading the explosives on the boat that will arrive there tonight. These explosives are vital for our sabotage activities along the coast. When the boys come back, tell them to head for Green Bay. Okay. Looking for someone? Where's Garson? I never heard of him. <laughs> Take it easy. Who 
seem awfully anxious to get rid of this. I don't even know what it is. It's a dictaphone record for that machine there. Sit down there. We'll soon find out what's on it. Some trick to playing this record, isn't there? Yeah, smart. Figure it out. of mounted police activity, it is necessary to remove all our explosives from the abandoned cannery at Green Bay. Go to Green Bay at once and take charge of loading the explosives on the boat that will arrive there tonight. These explosives are vital for our sabotage activities along the coast. Gosson wants us at Green Bay. Calling Green Bay. Calling Green Bay. King found out that Garson is headed your way. King found out? Where is he now? He's on his way to Green Bay. Is King coming to Green Bay alone? Yes, but Garson will be there ahead of him. That's fine. We'll fix up a warm welcome for the Mountie. King's heading for trouble at Green Bay. loaded before midnight. Look out there! If you drop one of these cases, we'll all be blown to pieces. We got your message, Garçon. Not my message. You were tricked by King. He's on his way here. What? We better get out of here. Take it easy. We're all set for him whenever he gets here. Come on.
Blue Mountains. Take cover. Get back! It's a trap! What out, man? Tom, get back! It's a trap! Run out, man!
get him, boys. I'm going after King. No, they went after Garson. Good. That fire will do a lot more good than harm. Without the explosives, those sabotage plans of the spies are worthless. Do you feel all right, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Let's get our horses. Not enough of the explosives were removed to carry out our sabotage plan. And that means Canada will continue sending material aid abroad. And we're paid to stop that. But how? Crandall must get more Compound X for magnetic mines, and every boat leaving these shores with troops and supplies will be destroyed. My men have discovered an abandoned shaft tapping the Caribou mine. Good. But it's impossible to work it while the Caribou's open and under mounting guard. Well, then close the mine and the guard will be removed. King refuses to allow a shutdown. Well, his refusal can be easily overcome. Go to Crandall. The mine shaft is completely wrecked, and the tunnel's supports are dangerously weakened for 300 feet on either side. Have they discovered the cause of the explosion? Well, it's very likely the men who are after Compound X destroyed it. But why? When the very thing they're after is in the mine. I'd like to know why myself, Linda. But the answer lies at the bottom of the shaft. It'll be a long and dangerous job getting down to it. No danger is too great if we can keep on supplying Compound X for the victims of infantile paralysis. And if we can help uncover the men who have been a menace to this country, the work will start immediately. Thanks, Matt. I'm going to discontinue the guard here until the mine is reopened. Push the work as fast as possible. I'll do that. Bye, Linda. Goodbye. The whole thing doesn't add up. The 
thing they're after is compound X. And the only place they can get it is from the caribou mine. Yet what do they do? They blow in the shaft. No shaft, no compound X. It just doesn't make sense. None at all. But you can bet there's a good reason for it. I can only get down that shaft and look around. Say, maybe we can. How? When Dad first came to Caribou, he sunk a trial shaft to the foot of Sentinel Hill. Well, it isn't marked on the survey map. That's because they built a tool shed over it and completely abandoned it when they sunk the new shaft. Linda and I used to play there when we were kids. Can you take me there? Certainly. Nice going. Come on. There's your answer. But why do they blow in the shaft? Well, they couldn't operate while we were on guard. Get the men, Tom. I'll wait here. Girl coming up the shaft ladder. Stop her. Take it easy, sister.
Dave. Are you all right, Linda? Just a little shaky. I'm going ahead with the truck. You ride back to the old shaft, have Tom and the men come after me. Right. You get in there and start driving. Your friends must be in an awful hurry for this ore. Stand where you are.
Take him back to the post. Yes, sir. Step lively there now. What were those men doing here? Evidently extracting compound X from the pitch blend they stole from the mine. Well, back to the old shaft, boys. An investigation there might turn up some clue for us to work on. Fair enough. We might as well take him with us. Go get him, Doyle. Yes, sir. Come on, mule. Oh, mule. Come on, mule. Let him go, Doyle. Better than an even chance they were packing out compound X on that mule. I'm gonna follow him and see where he goes. You want us to go with you? No, I don't think so. It may not lead to anything. You go back to the mine and carry on. Right. That's your pack mule? No, I never saw him before. You look mighty disappointed when you didn't find anything in those saddlebags. Pack mules are always wandering around here. I thought maybe there was something in those saddlebags. Mind if I take a look around? No. Go right ahead.
They had gone from the mine when we got there. Did you have any luck? Yes, I found the weakness in our lines. Good. No, not so good. We posted guards in every lane, road, and trail leading out of here. But we missed the waterways. But we had guards in all the rivers. Yes, to watch the boats. These men are very smart. They've been smuggling compound X down the river in hollow logs. Say, they are smart. We have got to inspect every log in the Charlotte Dam Basin. Any one of them might be loaded with compound X. We'll take the boat. Klondike reported to me here. Luckily, there was no compound X in the hollow log when King found it. King found more than a hollow log. He uncovered our means of transporting compound X through their lines. Now it'll be more difficult than ever to get the compound X we need to make magnetic mines. The shipment from the smelter is on its way down the river now in one of the hollow logs. That should last you for some time. I'll have Garson pick it up and bring it here. King's found one of our logs. There's another one on its way. Ought to be here any minute. We'll get that stuff in the bag. We may have to make a quick getaway. Search him. Throw that gun away, King. Get his gun. Get that bag.
Spillway. We don't have to worry about the man who was carrying it. We got this guy. We know he murdered your father. It's been a long road, Garson, but you've reached the end of it. I've had my orders, King, same as you've had yours. Who gave you those orders? Take him to the post. Tom? Nothing's wrong, Linda. For once, I have good news for you. King and I got Garson. Garson? Did you hear that, Matt? They've got Garson. You mean the man who killed your father? Yes, King's taking him to the landing now. And he'll be tried there? Probably, but not right away. King's gonna take him to Ottawa for questioning. We've got to find out who's behind all this. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye, Matt. Goodbye, Tom. Bye, Linda. But, Tom, you haven't told me all about it. Can't you stay a little while? I'm sorry, Linda, but I have to get back. I just thought you'd like to know. calling up one. F-25 calling up one. F-25 calling up. This is F-1. Go ahead, F-25. They captured Garson. Where's he being held? At Tombstone Landing. They're taking him to Ottawa for questioning in the morning. You've got to stop that. Garson is too valuable to us. Besides, he can tell the authorities who we are and where to find us. You don't think he'd do that, do you? I don't know, but it's a chance we can't afford to take. All right, I'll do the best I can. I'll report later. It will not be easy to get Garçon from the Monty Jail. But I know that Tombstone Landing like a book. And I will fix it tonight. But take your best man. We can't make any mistakes. There won't be no mistakes. Good. Now I'll meet Garson on the riverboat at the north end. I'll tell you. Is everything all right at the Caribou? Fine, Dave. Linda was certainly interested to know we caught Garson. Well, I should have asked you not to say anything about that until after we had him safe in Ottawa. Why? Oh, no particular reason, except some mighty strange things have been happening around here. That's true, but you don't suspect anybody at the mine, do you? Well, somehow, information of our movements has been leaking out. 
And it could be through someone connected with or employed at the mine. After all, it's Compound X they're interested in. And the news of Garson's arrest might be a choice bit of news for his friends. I see. Undercover. If anything happened, you mix it with the Mounties while well, Gosson get away. You understand now, huh? All right, come. Boss, he sent me. You hear Corporal Merritt say you were here. Can you get these leg irons off? Yeah, as soon as I find which one is the right key. Did the boss give you any message for me? Yes. He waited on a river boat at North End. Here is the right key. Come on, let's go. while I catch Garson. Garson, Dave. Fine work, Tom. I've got to stop Lake or Toe before he warns Garson's boss. Then I'm going to keep Garson's appointment. Carry on. Right.
Peters. What's the matter with you? Never mind. Quick, get to the rear boat. King is going there to arrest Crandall. Go ahead. Come on. Get out of here. King of the Mountain is on his way to arrest you. Say King's on his way here? Where's Garson? I don't know. For some reason, I don't believe that King is going to do me any harm. Is he? Garson! Garson! 
better get out of here. King of the Mountain is on his way to arrest you. you say King's on his way here? Where's Garson? I don't know. For some reason, I don't believe that King is going to do me any harm. Is he? Search the banks. We got him? I don't know. You men keep on searching. Try the other side. I've got to get back to the mine. But suppose King gets away. He'll look for you there first. I'll go in through the old shaft. If he is there, I'll see him before he knows I'm around. Right.
under arrest, Crandall. For treason, spy activities, and sabotage. For complicity in the murder of your friend and partner. But Dave, I... Troop K, Tombstone Landing. Are you ready, Tombstone? Stand by. Headquarters calling, Sergeant. Sergeant King speaking. Go ahead. Official communication from Commissioner Gatewood to Sergeant David King, acting CO Tombstone Land. Congratulations on expose and capture of Cranmer. I'm sending Sir Harold Bolton, Sir Harold Bolton, member of defense committee to take charge of the Caribou Mine and output of Compound X. You will assist him in every way possible. Signed, Jeffrey Gatewood, Commissioner. That is all. Message received. Tombstone Landing signing off. So Crandall is exposed. And without Compound X, we can never overcome British sea power. Sir Harold Bolton. Tell two of the men I want them. Sir Harold Bolton? Yes. What's the meaning of this? Sergeant King? Yes, sir. I'm Sir Harold Bolton. My credentials. They seem to be in order, Sir Harold. We've been expecting you. Commissioner Gatewood has instructed us to give you whatever assistance we can. Good. This is Inspector Kent and Inspector Dunwoody of the Intelligence Department. You are to turn your prisoner Crandall over to them for immediate return to Ottawa. Bring Crandall here, Corporal. Yes, sir. Isn't this a bit irregular? I don't know, Sergeant. I'm not familiar with your regulations. Nevertheless, that is the order that I'm to convey to you. I see. I'll be glad to receive for your prisoner and the car for their return to Ottawa. All right. You're welcome to use this car here. Now, about the Compound X. How much is at the mine? Well, there's quite a large supply, Sir Harold. We haven't permitted any shipments during the past few weeks, pending the outcome of our investigation. Good. I'll take it to Ottawa. We need it for war purposes. War purposes? Yes, in a manner of fighting fire with fire. If the destructive forces of Compound X can be used by the enemy, they can also be used against them. I understand. Come on. Is this the man? He doesn't look so different from other men, does he? Yet he would sell out his country to her enemies. Traitor. Take him away. Now, if you will direct me to the mine. Certainly, Sir Harold. Well, this is Corporal Merritt. He'll go with you. How do you do? Are you ready, sir? Pray. Now, get these things off. Hitler said to give you this note and gun. No, oh, thanks. All right, boys, let's get going.
Sergeant Dave. That crowd will just kill two men down the road, piece. What? Yep, shot him in the back, then turned on off the sawback turnoff. Maybe I can head him off. Kettler wants us. Monsieur Sergeant King. Here, stop him.
It said money, Monsieur Sergeant King. Here, stop him. We'll see of King of the Royal Mounted. We better step on it. Kettler's leaving the country with a large supply of Compound X, and we don't want to be left behind. But how will Kettler get the compound away from the mine? He's impersonating Sir Harold Bolton. He'll tell the Mounties that he's taking it to Ottawa, and we'll meet him at the boat landing. I'm under orders to help you, Sir Harold, and give you free reign. But nothing was said about taking the compound X to Ottawa. Well, we couldn't put that information out over the air, Corporal. It would have made the transportation of compound X extremely dangerous. I see. In that case, i better accompany you all the way to Ottawa. As you wish. Well, that's the last of it. And it's a long drive to Ottawa. Good day, Miss Mary. Good day, Sir Harold. So long, sis. Please be careful, Tom. Don't worry about me. Take the right road at the fork. But, sir, the left one's the road to Ottawa. Do as I tell you. If you're Sir Harold Bolton... You'll learn who I am after I get this compound X safely out of the country. I know who you are. You're the spy Wade Garson smuggled into Canada. car. We'll take care of him and the submarine. Never mind your car. Get in the back seat and keep that Mountie covered. Jet Sergeant, I thought he was with you. No, it's with Sir Harold Bolton. See if you can contact him. You're certain you disposed of Sergeant King, Crandall? He didn't have a chance. His car went over the cliff when I shot out one of his tires. I suppose you're going to kill me as you did Sergeant King. We'll take care of you later after this Compound X is safely out of Canada. 
That's a pretty big job for three men, isn't it? You're not dealing with three men, Corporal. You're dealing with the largest international espionage ring in the world. I do remember you mentioning something about a submarine a while back. Well, since you're going with us, I don't mind telling you that we do have a submarine at our disposal. From the direction we're taking, I'd say the submarine was probably in the Mackenzie Inlet. An accurate assumption, Corporal. That's exactly where it is. And within an hour, we'll be in the open sea. Doyle, relay that information to Ottawa. I'll take the plane and try to stop them. Yes, sir. Troop K calling Ottawa. Troop K calling Ottawa. Ready? Give him a hand with the compound X. Right. See what it is. Bring him along. Hold it, King. Tie him up. Crandall, and you said Sergeant King didn't have a chance. What I thought. I'll do the thinking from now on. You help Bellis load the compound. Then let Bellis take the car, dispose of it, and make his own getaway. We'll take the two Mounties to the speedboat. I'll enjoy entertaining them on the submarine. I have two prisoners, Captain. Two very important prisoners. Excellent. Tie them up. I suggest you lock them in the forward torpedo room. They'll provide interesting material for practice when we're at sea. Lock these men up forward. I have a supply of compound X in the speedboat alongside. Bring it aboard at once. Yes, sir. What about the speedboat? Looks like we're here to stay. Maybe not. Headquarters must know by now that this sub is here. There ought to be a squadron of bombers over here any moment. They've got some pretty good bombers in the Canadian Army. You bet we have. And we're right in the middle of the target. 
Don't worry about it, Tom. We can't live forever. I'm not squawking, Dave. The compound X in this sub, they can make enough magnetic mines to blow half the English fleet out of the North Sea. If it costs the lives of every modern policeman in Canada, it's worth it. I only hope the bombers will get here in time. Yeah, try to untie this. That bomber squadron doesn't get here soon. This sub will get away. No, it won't. Look here. Torpedo shoot. But well, what good will that do us? I'm going to shoot you through this. With one of these safety masks, you can make it easily. Get to shore and notify military headquarters to pick up this sub at the mouth of the inlet. It won't work, Dave. They'll hear you fire that tube and pick me up in the service before I can get ashore. Come on, get under this mask. Wait a minute, Dave. I know what you're going to do. You're going to let me get to safety and explode one of these torpedoes. That's suicide. Listen, Dave. You're a better mounted policeman than I'll ever be. Canada needs men like you, desperately. You're the one that should get to safety. I appreciate what you've said, Tom. But you've got your orders. I've got to prepare the tube. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Tom. Good luck. fuse cap of this torpedo. You'll die with us if you do. We're not unreasonable. You'll be treated as a prisoner of war. I'm dictating the terms of this treaty. Here's my answer. Linda. Tom obeyed his. That's why the king presented him with the Victoria Cross. You must be awfully proud of him. I am. I don't even think of him as dead. I'll always see him riding as he used to ride. Happy, free, proud of the uniform he wore, proud to serve Canada. I'll see him riding like that so long as I live. <laughs> <laughs> 